In this video, I will show you how we can set the frequency of the Raspberry Pi hardware PWM output. There is a lot of information online about controlling the IOs as digital in or output from the command line. After some searching, I found out that setting the frequency is actually quite easy too, if you know the commands. I will first explain the three key commands to control the PWM settings of the Pi. Then I'll show you how to do that with a live demo at the command line. Finally, I will give a quick overview of the Raspberry Pi GPIO's pinout. There are three key commands to control the PWM frequency. The first one is GPIO PWMC. This is the clock divider and it's only used to set the frequency. It has a value of 2 to 1495. Then there is the GPIO PWMR. This sets the PWM range. It sets the max range of the PWM. For instance, if you set it to 1024, 100% PWM will equal 1024. If you want to have 50% of PWM, you will have to enter 512. As a side effect, this PWM range will also influence the PWM frequency in a similar way as the PWM clock divider does. Then, the third, there's an operating mode. There are two modes available. GPIO PWM MS will set the mode to mark space mode. GPIO PWM Bell will set the mode to balanced mode. The default setting is balanced mode. Balanced mode will cut the PWM pulses in small parts and distribute the pulses as evenly as possible to reduce the ripple. The other mode is mark space, which is the textbook version of PWM. If you want to set the frequency, you must set the mode to mark space. After you have set those three commands, for PWM, you can calculate the PWM frequency with this formula. It's 19.2 MHz, which is the base frequency, divided by PWM clock divider times PWM duty cycle range. This is only for mark space mode. Okay, so let's now go to the Raspberry Pi and try this. We are now at the Raspberry Pi desktop and I opened the terminal window. In the caption below, you see the Raspberry Pi with an LED connected to GPIO 13 via a 330 ohm resistor. Let's first check the status of the GPIOs with the following command. GPIO read all. You see here a table of all the GPIO status, function and values. The commands in the wiring Pi utility use the WPI numbering by default. This numbering is shown in this column and in this column. You can see here that GPIO 13 or wiring pi 23 is set as an input. Now we will set GPIO 13 or wiring pi number 23 to PWM with the following command. GPIO mode 23 PWM. Let's check that now with GPIO read all. And you see that wiring pi 23 has been set to alt 0, which means it's set to PWM mode. Now let's try to set the PWM to 50%. The default maximum GPIO value is uh, 1024, so let's try it with GPIO PWM 23 and the value is 512. And you see the LED is lighting up here. So let's dim it a little bit with GPIO PWM23 100. And you see it's still lit up, but it's a little bit less bright. So you can dim the LED with PWM. Now I will set the frequency of the PWM to a very low value by changing the three PWM parameters. Let's start with the operating mode. GPIO PWM MS. I now set the operating mode to mark space mode. You see nothing changes to the LED. Now let's change the PWM range. GPIO PWM R 4000. That's close to the maximum. You see that the, dim the LED has dimmed a little bit. That's because it's still set at 100 and it used to be 1024, so it's now four times dimmer. And at last we will set the PWM clock divider to a lower value. PWM uh, oh, no. GPIO 
PWMC 4095, which is about the maximum. And you see the LED is actually blinking. So the frequency of the PWM is now very low. According to the formula, it should be 1.17 Hz. You can judge for yourself, but this looks to me like something like 1 Hz indeed. Here you see a list of all the commands I just used to set the PWM frequency. Just make a screen grab so you can use that for later reference. Then about the GPIOs of the Raspberry Pi. Here you see an overview of all the GPIOs of the Raspberry Pi 3 or Pi Zero. In totally there are 26 GPIOs. Two can be set as a hardware PWM. Those are GPIO 12 and 13. The hardware PWM of GPIO 12 and 13 can generate a very stable PWM signal. The other IEOs can also be set as a software PWM, but these may be interrupted by the operating system, so it cannot be used if you need a very stable signal. That was it for this video. I hope it was useful for you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.